Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. Um, I wanted to just run a couple things by you here that happen, and also uh, thank you for all your comments on the last video. Um, and I'm sorry I haven't gotten back to everyone. I like I said earlier in another video, I I can't answer all the comments, but I always read all of them and. Um, I always appreciate them because you guys know a lot more than me. So, um, you know, you guys always confirm things. You get dreams that match what I say. I mean, it just goes on and on. It's amazing. It's just the Lord. He's, he's confirming that we're all hearing from him and we're on the right track. And I want to tell you something I saw the other day. And I want to tell you something that I... Um, perceived the other day. And then I want to tell you something quickly about uh, the crown 22 thing. I realized while I was talking to a good friend of mine yesterday, she just said something that made perfect sense. And it was like, she said, um, you know, we know the last chapter in the book of revelation is 22 and it talks about the rewards and but it was like this sense of, cause I've heard Crown 22 since 1994. Okay, I, I, it's just this thing. And so what made perfect sense is that when you run a race, you finish it, okay? So the last chapter in the Bible is t about rewards. It's like Crown 22. So you gotta finish the race before it's over and before we leave. And so in terms of the rapture, and so it was like this idea like, oh yeah, it makes perfect sense. We would finish 2022 before we leave and that we're leaving right after. And you think Psalm 23 um, talks about lying down in green pastures and lead me beside still waters. There's rest for our soul. And uh, I, I, I believe with everything in me, we're leaving this year very soon. We have completed Crown 22. And when I heard that in 1994, I didn't know what the rapture was, you know. Um, I've only been putting it all together over the past few years. I've been, or past several years, I've been here with you all on YouTube, putting all of that together. Um, you've, if you've been with me a long time, you know, you've seen me realize things on the way, like the ark and, um, what was it I heard that meant, oh yeah, that, the, well, I'm not going to go down that road right now, but the, the ark lottery, well, I had heard the word lottery. And then in the movie, I saw they were making a, an ark lottery for the flood that was coming. And I knew right away, okay, that's what he meant. And anyway, so I wanted to mention that. And, you know, and I am sorry if if I did get people's hopes up thinking we were leaving in 22. But on the other hand, I am not wondering what it means. I mean, I, I it, man, now it makes perfect sense. We had to finish the race. You got to finish the Bible. You got to finish chapter 22. Praise the Lord. You're, you're ready to get your crown. You guys are ready to get your crowns. You've been passing these tests. You were waiting. We we're waiting on the Lord and he's coming. And I do believe I did mention uh, a video I saw recently about everything in the Bible, like story after story after story that spells out um, 2030 is when Christ uh, would come back and in 38 days when he died on the cross. And I had recently been the past several months, I I've been kind of frustrated saying to people I know, or to God, I'm like, you know, Lord, if they know when so many people died in history, why can't they know when you died? I mean, you're the most important person in the entire universe. How come no one seems to know when you died exactly? 29, 30, 32, 33. You know, it's like, this, this is just crazy that we don't know. And and um, anyway, so I saw this 
video called Messiah 2030. And I was like, that's it. I don't wonder anymore. That's it. Subtract seven years. Here we are, 2023. We're leaving. Finish 22. Ready for your crown. We're leaving. You look at the world, it's falling apart at the seams. It's absolutely on the verge of nuclear war. How many countries could be threatening right now at the same time? Taiwan's getting threatened by China. You know, um, of course, Russia and Ukraine and, uh, uh, it, it, you know, Israel, Iran, and, and, and all, all of the other countries involved in all of them. And it, it just, we've never seen anything like this ever. Not like this. Every headline is like this. I mean, it's absolutely, extra, it's extraordinary. And we know in the book of Revelation, the earth's going to burn. It's going to burn. And um, and I'm still amazed at how I saw that um, 1815 on, you know, it was Prince Harry. <laughs> I know I said Henry a few times. I did say Harry too, but... You know, you guys, please excuse me. Every video I, I make, I I usually say something wrong that I don't mean. And if you don't realize I made a mistake, you're going to think I'm saying something I'm not saying. But yeah, Prince Harry. Um, I probably was confusing with Henry because of Henry Groover, who was in the same video I made. Um, anyway, so I wanted to tell you too that I a few days ago, I was, I was looking at the sky I saw the weirdest thing I've ever seen in my life. Now, I know many people have seen very many strange things in the sky over the past several years. Um, just all kind of weird stuff. Um, but I personally have now seen something weird myself, which is could easily go into one of those videos if I had been able to, or one of those videos that, you know, reports on stuff like this. If I had been able to film it, it would have been great, but my camera wouldn't have even picked it up anyway. But it was, um, okay, I saw like, there was like about 30 tiny little white lights in the sky. Um, and they were white, shiny lights. And they would go, they would, go into different formations. Uh, they would go from like all scattered, kind of going you know, moving together. And then they would, then they formed some wings, like a V shaped wing. And then um, they would just go in different shapes and then they would get all scattered again. And then they would go in different and they, and then they would all turn it's almost like they would turn away or something and you wouldn't see them at all. And then they turn back and then this shiny light would come back all at the same time. They're all in perfect synchronicity. And it was the weirdest thing I have ever seen. You know, I, I there was no, there, you know, there was, it wasn't like they could fly or they had wings or, they had anything that you would need to fly, you know, um, in the sky. It, it was totally supernatural. It was it was definitely <clears throat> something connected to these, similar to the UFO and all that. But for me to see it myself was interesting because I, I, like I said, I've never seen this kind of. Well, I, I saw one other thing, and that was this year, which is interesting that it's this year. Um. I did see, I was walking the dog and I saw a, this one looked like, this one actually looked like a UFO and it looked, and it was just stopped. It just stopped. It was just sitting there in midair and I'm looking at it. And then I got this feeling that it tuned into me and then it seemed like it started to follow me and I would look behind me and you know, in both both situations, there was a moment where I could imagine 
feeling threatened by these things. And I, but then it went away because I know the blood of Jesus has total power over this stuff as long as I, you know, pray, plead the blood against it. We've got to take authority over the works of the enemy, 1 John 3, 8, for this purpose, the Son of God is manifested to destroy all the works of the enemy. But we have to, you know, we have to pray, use the scriptures against these attacks that you all are going through right now. You got to speak against it, pray against it. Um, but I have had dreams years ago where a, a UFO was coming after me. One of them actually took me. And I started singing really loud, the blood of Jesus, like belting it out of my voice. And it had to bring me back immediately. And I'm telling you that so that you know that the blood of Jesus, if you're covered by the blood of Jesus Christ, you know, because you are saved and have received Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach as your savior, Messiah, believing who he is, the son of God who died on the cross for your sins and rose on the third day after they buried him, um, you are, you are sealed with the Holy Spirit and the blood of Jesus Christ covers you from all evil. You are, Psalm 121 says you are preserved from all evil. And we are now we, we go through things that feel very threatening and evil, but the blood is Jesus Christ keeps you safe, but you want to also enforce it and pray against this stuff. You know, because the Bible says that, you know, we can lose battles by not praying right, not meaning you will lose the ultimate. We have won the war in Christ. You have won. You are seated in heavenly places right now, far above all principalities and powers of wicked spirits. And you will rule and reign with Christ. OK, um, so. But we are, you know, we're we. We're in battles, different battles. So anyway, I'm just encouraging you to fight the battles. Don't sit back. Okay. Now, the other thing that I wanted to say too was the other day I was thinking, you know, um, we've seen stores shut down and we had, a, we had a store, which one was it recently out in this area? I'm um, outside of LA. Um, a store closed down. I'm seeing different stores closed down. I, anyway, I thought to myself, wow, you know, if Bed Bath & Beyond, if they shut down, I'm t the rapture's like around the corner. Well, like three days later, I, I heard that they are filing, they've filed uh, chapter 11. They're, they're closing down, you know? Um, and I'm like, this is so weird. Even though we know Jesus is coming. We know the world is ending. We know tribulation's about to start. And I, you know, and then I, and I know 21 zero America is happening. It's still really weird to see it happen. It's, it's, you know, I, I keep every day, like you see something different that's shutting down. Um, or you see the B system building up and the other stuff shutting down. Um, you know, like checkout stands where you just, you know, swing your palm by it, you know, um, getting ready for the mark of the beast, all this stuff, you know, it's just, it's just incredible. You're seeing the, the B system rise. And at the same time, you're seeing things collapse, um, you know, I saw footage of Walmart. I think it was in Chicago. They were looted recently. And I mean, it looked like it was sad. It was, it looked like world war three, like a bomb had exploded in the place and everyone, it had just been torn to shreds. And I, this is just the beginning. This is just, it, it's just incredible what's going on, but we know what's going on. We know why it's happening. It's right on schedule. This stuff is right on schedule. The rapture is about to happen. And uh, so, oh, look at that. This thing is, no, no, never mind. I'm, I'm looking at the timer here. It's, 
it's got more time. But um, anyway, I wanted to one 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 of you left I think a dream where you saw. Um, I know I'm not going to remember it totally right, but it was like there was a wall, and then there was like kind of sort of a party atmosphere on the other side of the wall, and then there was people waiting on this side of the wall. And people kept coming to the wall saying, just a little bit longer, just a little bit longer. And then the dreamer said uh, something like, when, Lord, when? And then she saw this big 27 on the screen. I thought, that's interesting. That was right after the video I did about April 27th and all this going down or that could go down on that day. Anyway, so that's, I, I hope I remembered it correctly. It's in the comments if you want to go read the comments. Um, but that's, a, that's, that's an amazing dream. And, you know, so we're watching, we're looking up, we're, you know, there's nothing wrong with watching um, days, certain days. We're watching them, okay? We're watching certain days the same way Jesus was really, really mad that no one recognized his first coming because um, it was written in the scriptures and they didn't see it coming. We, sh we need to see stuff coming. And, and, he needs to, and Jesus said to watch because you don't know what hour the thief is coming. So I believe that we... We'll see that we'll see it. We'll we'll see it. We'll feel it. We'll know it. Um, do you have to know it or feel it to be raptured? No. Not everyone's watching, that's for sure. But when if you are watching, you're gonna be seeing stuff. And one of these days, God, the Lord is gonna show us stuff. This could be it. This week could be it. It could be the 26th. Uh I got a friend who's been telling me that. God gave him April 27th several years ago. Now I'm not, I'm not prophesying, you know, but it's just interesting because, because it could be and one of these days it's going to be, and we're about to get out of here. Anyway, I wanted to um, give you all that. Let me know your thoughts about, about uh, those white lights I saw. Have, you know, have you seen anything like that? There's going to be a lot of strange stuff going on in the sky, um, you know, and after the rapture, uh, many people have said that they're going to, they're going to just tell everyone, well, these missing people were all taken away in UFOs. And that's, there's going to be a, a major deception on that one, um, which is a lie. So